fan over. Welcome back to my craft room. If you are new here for the first time, then welcome. I am so excited that you're here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your very own DIY custom wine bottle label. So let's get started. So to get started with our tutorial, of course we have to begin with the label. And I chose this label from Etsy and I really, really like it and I wanna show you why. Um, and I'll be sure to link this below in case you guys want to grab the same label. So what I really like about these labels is that it actually comes in two different formats. One, that you can get all four labels to print the exact same way, so that makes it really simple, but you also get a second file option where you can make each and every label customized. So this is really useful if you wanna use it for like names in your bridesmaid proposals, or let's say you're making these for favors and you wanna make everybody the same, you can use the four in one same label page for that. Plus everything is customizable in Adobe Acrobat Reader. So I'm going to show you how to do all that. So of course it begins on Etsy when you purchase the label. I've already purchased it. So I wanted to show you in the downloads, which one you need. So I've already downloaded the different label and the same label, um, but I'm going to show you how to download the different one just to show you how to open it in Adobe Acrobat Reader. And if you need more help, you can always download the instructions as well. So of course we begin by downloading it. But if you just click it out of your downloads, or at least the way my computer is set up, it opens it in kind of this like internet downloader thing. But this is actually not where you need to be in order to download the labels because you're not going to be able to edit correctly in this program. So what you want to do instead is you want to open up Adobe Acrobat Reader. So that needs to be installed on your computer. I can link that for you guys in the description below as well, but it's totally free. It's just a really easy way to edit it. So in order to open up your labels in Acrobat Reader, you're going to go to File and then Open. And then you'll want to go into your Downloads folder and grab the label that you just downloaded and click Open. So then everything will appear on your screen and you can do any edits to it that you'd like. So this is also useful, not only if you want to use this for your bridal party, but I always see lots of questions about, um, you know, how do I ask my photographer to be my photographer? What gift can I give my efficient when I ask them to officiate our wedding? You could totally use these wine labels for that because all of this text is customizable. So the way that you're going to customize the text is on a PC, um, not a Mac, you're going to use control E and that's going to give you this edit bar up here where you can change the font, you can change the size and all different kinds of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and customize these labels real quick and I'll speed this part up and then I'll show you what to do next. There you go it's that easy to edit everything and then when you're finished just click outside of the box and everything will stay exactly the same if you're editing the labels that are all the same the way that you work on those is if you just want to change the text you type it in the line and then you click outside of the label and all the other labels will add this or will make the same changes so that's really easy to edit as well then whenever you're ready to move on to printing, you're just going to go to file, save as, and you want to save the file um, that you just created. So we'll say wine labels and save them in my craft files. Save. All right. And then it's time to print. So you're going to go up to the printer icon, of course, and you're going to change any settings that you want to change. The way that I normally do this is I go into properties and the only change that I make is I change the quality from standard to high. And that just makes the printing a little bit more pigmented. So these are designed for full size wine bottle labels. So keep that in mind. But I did test these labels also with mini wine bottles. I bought the Sutter home brand of wine bottles. And when I um, changed the scale to 65%, that was the best size for those little labels. So make sure that you um, measure this and test it out. And if you want to test it out, you don't have to use it on printable vinyl. You can just print your tests out on regular printer paper so that you don't waste any materials. And 
and then you can figure out what size everything needs to be. But 65% worked for the mini bottles, and of course I'm gonna use 100% for the full size wine bottles. So then when you're ready, you can just hit print. So let's hop over to my printer and I'll show you how to load this paper and print out these labels. So to print my wine labels, I'm going to be using Starcraft matte inkjet printable vinyl. And the reason that I like using printable vinyl is because it's a little bit more sturdy than something like sticker paper. I'm going to add a laminate when I'm finished printing this, that's going to make it waterproof. So if you are going to use the sticker paper for this project, I do recommend you make it a waterproof sticker paper. So to load it in the printer, you're just going to open up the um, loading drawer of your printer. And I always like to remove any extra paper. That way, in case I print more than one copy, I don't waste any ink. The way that my printer works is I have to put my printable vinyl with the back side up because it comes across the rollers like this to print on the front. So make sure however you place the printable vinyl in the tray, it's going to end up printing on the correct side. So I just put it in my tray. Make sure everything's really smooth. And close it up. Then on my printer settings, I just leave it as plain paper and say OK. And then I can go back to my computer and hit print. Once your labels are finished printing, now I'll show you how to make this printable vinyl waterproof and apply it to the wine bottles. So after your printable wine labels come out of the printer, the next step is to add the UV laminate over top of the vinyl. And the reason for this is so that it stays waterproof and that no matter what gets on the label, it can still be a keepsake to hang on to for a long time. So I'm gonna add the laminate over top of the vinyl before I cut it apart with my paper trimmer because that way I know it's gonna be perfectly aligned with the cut that I make. So the easiest way to do this is just to peel the paper back just a little bit, starting in the corner. And then I'm just gonna peel back like a whole strip of it. So it kind of looks like this and this will give me a way to line it up on the edge of the printable vinyl. something like that. And then you can line it up starting at the short edge that matches up with the UV laminate. Like this. Then you'll wanna stick it down a little bit. And now we're gonna use kind of a modified hinge method with this. So now that this is already stuck to our printable vinyl, we'll peel up the sheet and grab the backing that we bent backwards and sort of slowly add it onto the printable vinyl, just like this. And then when you're done, you won't have any wrinkles or bubbles, but I still recommend using a squeegee to get out any um, bubbles that may have gone in there, just like this. And then when everything looks really smooth, next we're gonna cut along these lines using a paper trimmer. And it says it right here on the labels, but these labels do have a little bit of a bleed. And so what that means is we're gonna cut just inside these little black lines so they don't show up on our labels. And there's a little bit of room left already on the labels for us to do so. So I'm just gonna line it up along the edge of the blade with a black line just on the other side of the string running through my paper trimmer. And you always wanna lean it against the side to make sure that the paper is completely straight. And once you're happy with it, you can just slide the trimmer blade down.
And there you have it, perfectly trimmed wine bottle labels. Now let me show you my favorite trick for applying these labels perfectly straight. So on this barefoot bottle of wine, my label's actually gonna fit right over top of the original label. So I'm not gonna bother removing it just because it's a little bit less work. But if you buy, for example, a cupcake bottle of wine, then you can see the label's not quite tall enough to cover all of the label. So in that case, I probably would spend the time to remove the label, but all you need to do is soak it in hot water and a little bit of dish soap and the label should come right off. Don't forget to use Goo Gone to remove any of the adhesive left over. So in order to um, apply my label, I'm actually gonna put a squeegee underneath my bottle of wine so that it can be held nice and straight. And then I'm gonna use what's called the hinge method. So I'm gonna be using a piece of painter's tape as well as my label. And I'm gonna place it, actually I'm gonna place my tape on my label first. I'm gonna place it across my label. You can either do it across the center going in this direction or going in this direction. Either way works just fine. Then I'm going to place my label perfectly straight on my bottle until I'm happy with where it's at. And when I am, I'm going to smooth down this painter's tape so that it can act as a hinge and keep the label in place. Then I'm gonna peel back one side of my label and peel off the backing. Just like that. And then I'm gonna cut off that side of the backing. Then I will just push this piece down with my fingers. And now I can remove the painter's tape and then I can peel back the rest of the label and remove the backing. And then I can smooth it down using a squeegee on the other side to make sure it's perfectly straight and it doesn't have any bubbles. Then when you're finished, don't forget to lightly use the squeegee over top. And there you go. You have a perfectly placed custom wine bottle label. If you're a crafty bride or you're helping someone else craft for their wedding, then be sure to join my wedding Facebook group, Cricut Brides and Wedding Crafts, for tons of great ideas and inspiration. And if you make anything using my tutorials and you share it out on Instagram, please use the hashtag DIYAlex because I love seeing what you guys are crafting. And if you've gotten this far in the video, then I want to get to know you on social media. So please find me at DIY Alex Vanover on pretty much all of major social media platforms. And I'll also link everything down in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more just like it, then be sure to subscribe to the DIY Alex YouTube channel and be sure to ring the bell so that you get notified every single time that I put out a new video every single week. But don't wait for next week's video. Be sure to check out this one next. Or if you want to make your DIY dreams come true, be sure to check out this video. I know that you're going to love it.